Hello guys, how are all of you doing? Hope you're doing fine. Me and myself, I'm doing terrific because I found this great chess puzzle and I really love this kind of end game studies with not so many pieces left, but you have to really find this uh, great moves to be able to crack these uh, solutions. And this is one of them. We have three pawns, you see that? Very spread out. This one is two steps away from promoting to a queen. So that's our weapon. And we are winning this as white, but we have to play very, very smart. Only one move, obviously, like normal puzzles. One starting move is uh, really needed here. And uh, along the line, there will be a lot of smart moves needed to win this. So let's get started. You should pause your video now and see if you can find out at least how we are starting as white. And then we can get you more chances to post the video later on. All right, so go ahead. All right, welcome back. Well, of course, we want to take this pawn to promotion and we want to stop the bishop from getting into this diagonal. So the first move is pretty obvious, actually. It's not so hard to find. It's king e4, stopping the bishop to come to d4. All right, black now responds with bishop d8. And now he's threatening to come to f6. And now it's getting more tricky, for sure. All right, how are we continuing this as white right now? Take a look again. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. All right, here we go. So let me now show you some moves that are not right. We can play king f5 to, to stop this, to block the f6. But then black will just return to b6 and threaten to come to d4. And we will just have to go back or try to play something smart like king e5, uh, blocking both these or protecting both squares. But this is not winning because black will then play bishop e3. Threatening here. We have to push it. And it comes with a bishop to c1. No matter if we uh, if we move this pawn, black will come with his bishop here uh, with a check and take whatever is promoted on h8 if we promote. So something like this is, of course, not doing any good. He will just take here. Bishop will come, and this is for sure a draw. Okay, so after king e4, bishop d8, no point in going to f5. And there's no point in going to e5 straight away either. Uh, because from here he can go to g5 with his bishop. And it's the same variation as we looked at. And this is a draw. So we have to do something else. We cannot move the king here, uh, but we don't want him to come to f6 either. So we'll play this fantastic move. Look at this. b6. That's the point of this pawn. It's there because we want to sacrifice it. Now we see, for obvious reasons, black cannot play bishop f6. We will just push our pawn to b7, and it will become a queen. So black will have to do something else. But if we take this pawn with his bishop, well, then he cannot, he cannot cover h8 anymore. So that's an easy win for white also. All right, what if he takes it with a king? Well, now that blocks the square b6 for his bishop. So now we can play king f5. He cannot come back with his bishop here as he wanted to, and he cannot stop this pawn from promoting so it all looks good but we're not done okay so we cannot take the pawn i cannot move this bishop to f6 but black can play king a6 and this is a great move for black really great because it now stops the pawn it still has this uh, threat of bishop f6 if we now continue with uh, king f5 well he will just take the pawn with the bishop and then be able to come here and this is a draw like we've seen before so what are we doing now as white well now we can play the king to e5 
it's a bit different than before because then we had a pawn here and the black king here now they're one step more ahead oh sorry he's not taking there uh because then we will just push our pawn no <clears throat> black's only option now try the same as we showed before bishop g5 threatening our pawn we push it and play bishop c1 but we have a slightly difference here than before and this pawn is now closer so look at this all right we move our king to d6 threatening to uh, promote to a queen black is of course forced to take on b2 to cover h8 and now we can protect our pawn with a king move any of these three moves but only one of these three moves actually win the other two are leading to a draw can you see which one which move we have to do you can pause the video again if you want to okay here we go we have to play king c7 that's the only winning move in this situation and why is that let me show you if we play king c6 black simply plays bishop to e5 covering here and still covering here and we're in Sugsvang because we cannot move the king here either we have to move away from our pawn or just move back to c5 and then black takes control over this pawn or we move our pawn to b7 but then black can play king a7 and then now he will cover this uh, square with his king and the bishop take, takes care of this pawn so that's why we don't want to give black the tempo we want to lose the tempo uh, from here and we don't play king c6 we play king c7 uh, of course if we play the king to c5 then black can just put his king on b7 so that's a very easy make it easy for black to draw this okay now if black checks then we go to c6 but now it's black that is in Sugsvang because he wants to keep his bishop here to cover both diagonals and he can't because he has to move something and if he moves his king it can only go here and then it's easy for us because then we will just uh, promote any of these pawns next time and then uh, let him take it with his bishop and then we promote the other one so the correct move is king c7 perhaps black want to do some other uh, tempo move try to play bishop d4 instead but it's just not good enough we play b7 and this is winning now even after bishop e5 check we go to c8 and now he is in trouble he can try king a7 to cover here but we can still use either one of these pawns let's do this one he takes it and we promote this one and we win so i hope you followed all through all variation i hope i didn't miss anything i really like this uh, end game it was really beautiful hope you liked it too press like on the video and uh, well come back to my channel for more things like this have a great day Bye-bye.